Hello there music community, how's everybody doing? Today I wanted to show off a box set that I got a little while back. I've been meaning to get to showing this, but I just never got around to it until now. Um, this is the Atlantic Records time capsule. This came out in 2009. Um, I didn't pick it up when it first came out, I just got it a little while ago. but. Um, I had it on my Amazon wish list for quite some time and the price was a little bit high uh, so I ended up getting a used copy off of eBay. Um, you probably can't tell on the video on the video here but the this shiny silver here is a little bit discolored in some spots. Um, there's some black scuffing on the bottom but otherwise everything else inside the box is in really good shape. So I'll just take give you a quick tour through this. So yeah, this is the Atlantic Records time capsule, and then around the outside of the box here, it's got all the different artists that were signed to Atlantic Records and the year that they were signed. I'll show you a few here. And this goes all the way around the box on all four sides. And then if you open the magnetic closure here, there's another row of artists here inside the, in, in there. So yeah, this has got the typical magnetic flap here that you flip open and then inside we got a quote here from uh, Atlantic Records founder Ahmet Erdogan. And then you flip open this lid and here you have, let's tilt this up a little bit, uh, 45 here of Drinking Wine Spodiote by Stick McGee and his buddies. And there's a few of the other artists on Atlantic at the time. And you can see here there's it says that Atlantic Records first major hit was Drinking Wine Spodiote by Stick McGee and his buddies. Recorded in February of 1949. And this 45 here has been re uh, re pressed exclusively for the Atlantic Records time capsule, so that's pretty cool. This is just kind of a uh, foam 45 adapter that it kind of sits on there. So then we'll look back down here. And here we have a replica of Atlantic Records label, and this is actually the Certificate of Authenticity. And it's a numbered set here. I got number... 1393 of 1750. That's a pretty cool way of doing that. And then here we take out, there's a pretty pretty th good sized book here, pretty thick. Um, this has got a lot of great pictures in it. And then all the way through the whole book there's pictures and then underneath every page there's just some uh, facts and things about when different artists were signed and when singles were released, things like that. One thing that I think is cool about this is the, the black background is kind of a matte, but then all the pictures that are in the book, they're really like a glossy, glossy pictures. I'm not going to show every picture, this is, that would take entirely too long, but I'm just kind of flip through here quick and show you some. There you go. Ray Charles pictures. Uh, who else we got here? Just a lot of a lot of cool pictures in this book. Crosby, Stills, and Nash, and Young. I got the Rolling Stones. There's Tom Petty and Stevie Nicks. And then if we flip all the way to the back here, 
get into some of the newer artists that I'm not too, too fond of, but um, here we got a, a track listing, but then we got all the different record la labels as they were appeared when they came out. So that is really cool. All the different picture sleeves there. Yeah, it's a really cool book. There's all the different logos that they've used over the years. I'll try and quickly show you all these CDs here. Um, as I said, this was a used set. Um, I think both packs here probably had this this uh, band on it, but only one of them has it now. But that's fine. And each each CD has a different different design on it. I'm pretty sure that these are out of print now because they're really hard to find. I was lucky to find this this set on eBay in, such, in as good a shape as it was. And we also have the Atco label there. So that was five CDs there. anybody's interested in the track listing I'll see if I can get a, a dis something put in the description so you can see what songs are all included here there's stuff you know from Led Zeppelin cream the one thing that I notice is missing is there's no ACDC songs on here but and this is a the last disc the tenth disc is a DVD the house that Amit built this is a PBS special that aired. I'm not sure when, but it, you can see it's narrated by Bette Midler, and it's got all sorts of different different people there. I think it's uh, 115 minutes. So it's a, it's a pretty good good documentary. I enjoyed it. So then you can see there's all the ten discs, and you see it looks like that's the end of the box. But actually, let's see if I can get it here. There's a little tab, you flip this open, and then there's a whole nother set of goodies inside here. So let's take a look at what that is. Um, this first card here just says what each of the different items in the box is, so I'll look at that as I explain to you. Uh, the first thing we have here, let's see. Here's a guitar pick. It's a Kid Rock guitar pick. Donated by Kid Rock for the time capsule. And next up we have this uh, kind of a backstage, laminated backstage pass. This is Amit's personal backstage pass here for the Rolling Stones. A kind of a promo ad here of all the different artists at the time of this poster, this handbill. Uh, let's see, this is the Atlantic is Frantic poster from the 1950s. It says. And then next we have this handwritten sheet here.
the different lyrics there. Poster for Stephen Stills and Neil Young. And yes, just look at those ticket prices $5.50. And here we have a set list here. Death Cab for Cuties set list. And here's a concert ticket for a Rat from 1987. And here's a handwritten letter. I'll take a look here and see what this is from. Because I'm not really able to find what that actually is, but and here's a Atlantic Records bulletin, different singles and things that are out. We got new singles for Atco and new singles for the Colt Cotillion label and new hit albums from Atlantic, hit albums from Atco. A lot of cool stuff there. And then here we got just some uh, postcards with different showing different artists of the time. Cardinals and the Drifters. And next we have a replica concert ticket for Genesis, 1974. And this is uh, Aretha Franklin tracking sheets. There's an envelope here that's got, got the different tracking sheets in it. one. So yeah, there you have it, the Atlantic Records time capsule box set. I hope you enjoyed seeing this everybody and like I said I'll try and put a track listing in the description below so you can check out all the great music that's included on this set here. Take care everybody and I'll see you on the next video.